Hey guys, it's Sarah with americantrucks.com and today we have a review and install of the Barricade HD off-road front bumper with LED lighting fitting your 07 through 13 Chevy Silverado 1500s excluding the classic models. This high clearance front bumper features heavy duty steel plate construction with a textured black powder coat finish. This is for the Silverado owner who's looking for a high clearance off-road front bumper that includes lighting and tons of customization options. This bumper includes two high-powered LED cube lights and also features an overrider hoop and skid plate that are available separately for around $100 bucks each. Coming in at around $900, this bumper is low to middle of the road price-wise, but this is gonna give you the off-road look and functionality while saving you some money over some higher price options. I'm gonna give this install a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. This bumper does feature direct bolt-up installation and can be done within two hours. For this install, we used several impact guns, an air ratchet, a small pry bar, a ratchet, a pop clip removal tool, 22, 19, 15, and 10 millimeter sockets, a four millimeter Allen key, 19 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, and a 10 millimeter wrench. All right, so once the hood is popped, the first step in your install is to remove this rad support cover by removing all the pop clips with your pop clip removal tool. Now you can go ahead and remove the cover. All right, so the next step, we're gonna remove our grill by removing the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold it on at the top. Next up, we're gonna pull out the grill. It will come out just pulling straight out, but if for some reason the metal clips that are holding it in hang up, you can use a needle nose pliers to get it out. Next up, we're gonna remove these bolts holding in the bumper underneath the frame. Next, remove the bolt from the bumper support brace on the other side with a 15 millimeter socket. Next up, we're gonna remove the two nuts holding our bumper to the frame, and they're attached on the other side with a bolt plate. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove these. Next up, we're gonna remove the bolt plate from the other side of the frame. You may want a friend to help support the bumper while you remove this, and you may want a large flathead or small pry bar to help get it loose. Repeat that on the other side. All right, so before our bumper can go on our truck, we're gonna get it prepped by installing these covers as well as the lights that came in the kit. Starting with the center cover, Line it up to the front opening. There should be bolt holes on the top and the bottom on the brackets to line up as well. Grab the included hardware. Then you're gonna grab a 10 millimeter wrench and a four millimeter Allen key and tighten these down.
All right, so next up, we're gonna mount the brackets to our pod lights. First step is to get the nut into the opening right down there. You can drop it in, but it may help to use the bracket itself to sort of guide it in place. And then grab the included bolts. Just get it started, and then repeat that with the other side. It may take a little finagling to get the nuts to sit properly. Once you have them in place, the bracket will sit up like this. Grab the included Allen key and tighten these down. Repeat that with the other pod light. All right, now we can bolt our pod lights to the bumper. All right, so line up your pod light to the bracket on the bumper. We're gonna go for the side openings, but you can actually mount these wherever you like on the bumper. We're gonna grab the included hardware, and I've added a washer as well, just to keep uh, the bolt in place a little better because the opening is a lot larger. Now the bottom of the bracket is slotted, so once the nut is in place, it should hold itself enough to tighten it down. Line up the pod light where you'd like in the bracket. There is quite a bit of adjustability each way. So try to get it lined up as much as you can now. Then you can always adjust it down a little bit later. Grab a 14 millimeter wrench and tighten this down. Repeat that on the other side. And then tighten it down. All right, so now that we have the factory bumper uninstalled from our truck, we can put it side by side with the barricade bumper and check out some of the features up close. Starting with the construction, the barricade bumper features a steel plate construction, which is gonna be a little beefier compared to the steel and also plastic of the factory bumper. It's finished off with a nice textured black power coat finish, which is gonna give the front of your truck a nice stealth look. This bumper also features tons of customization options that bolt right up, like lighting as well as an optional hoop for the top of your bumper. Finally, this bumper is high clearance, so it's gonna give you tons more room when compared to your factory bumper for those of you who take your truck off-road or just really like the look of it. All right, so with that said, let's grab our bumper and get into install. All right, we're now gonna get the bumper mounted up to the truck. You may wanna grab a friend for this step just to get it lined up a little easier. We're gonna line up the bumper to the outside of the frame and then reinstall our bolt plates to the outside of the bumper. With the bolt plates through the frame, reinstall the factory nuts. Finally, install the included hardware through the bottom of the bumper and the frame of your truck. Make sure you're using a lock washer and washer as well. Repeat that on the other side.
At this point, you can grab your 21 millimeter socket and tighten down the nuts on the factory bolt plate. Now with a 19 millimeter wrench and socket, tighten down the bolts at the bottom of your bump. All right, at this point we can reinstall the grill, lining up the metal clips and pressing it back into place. Grab your factory hardware and get it reinstalled. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten these down. All right, so before we reinstall our rad support cover, we're gonna run the included wiring harness down to both the pod lights and up to our battery. At this point, we're gonna mount our relay up. You can bolt this wherever you would like in the engine bay. There is a stud with a bolt on it just behind our battery, and that's the one we're gonna to go to. Grab a 10 millimeter socket, loosen it up, and mount your relay. All right, with our relay mounted, we're now gonna disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen up the small nut that's on top of the negative terminal. All right, so once you have the nut off, remove the negative terminal off the battery. At this point, we can connect the eyelet to the negative terminal on the battery. Grab your 10 millimeter wrench and tighten it back down. At this point, we're gonna loosen the nut on the positive terminal of the battery to put the positive eyelet over that. Grab a 10 millimeter socket and loosen this up. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten this back down. With the wiring harness routed, we can reinstall the rad support cover. Line up the holes and reinstall the pop clips. Plug in your fog lights, and then route the harnesses up and out of the way. Do the same thing on the other side. 
All right, so the final step is to test out that your lights work. Then you're gonna route this switch into your cab. So the last step in the install is really just a finishing touch step. This bumper, since it is such high clearance, it does expose some things near the wheel well area. If you like, you may want to trim the wheel well liner with either a razor knife or another similar tool. Just cut along the bottom here to your liking. You may also want to relocate some other things like the windshield washer fluid. And if you'd like, you can remove these bumper support bars. They're two 15 millimeter bolts. All right, that is gonna do it for the review and install of our barricade bumper. Remember, for all things Silverado, keep it at americantrucks.com.